Good morning, water people. We already got a fish on. He got his bait in the water while I was setting up. And he already got a fish on the hook. He's reeling it in right now. Let's see what we're gonna start the day off with. A little bit. Two sides, not a keeper though. Not complaining. Okay. Not the hook still. Yeah. yeah. Right there, nice little flatty. Give it a little measurement. I know it's not a keeper, but we'll like to announce the size anyways. That's a 19 inch, 19 inch halibut. We're three inches shy right there, but we'll get him back in the water. Do you want to release your fish? Or? Yeah, you can go ahead. Cool. Yeah. It's like it's not a keeper. I don't need to pick it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got pictures with all the big ones. Yeah. <laughs> No, no. They're good eating. You know what, you know I just kept 10 fish yesterday. Turd roller. Sandy. Hey, take it. Better than working. All right, water people, we're out here today on the long beach shelf drifting in for halibut so far we got one short and one bycatch sand bass can't complain it's fishy this morning water movement is not bad we're moving a direction that we're moving the opposite direction that we thought we would be moving so we might have to change the drift uh start point but for now this is the drift we're on Fish on, chat, fish on. See what he brings up this time. First of the day, water people, let's see what we got. Hold the grizzle. It's a big. Oh, I don't know what that is. It's a rockfish. I think it's a copper. Copper rockfish, I think. Pretty nice one, too. Yeah, it is a really nice rockfish for the shelf. Copper, I think. Got put up too. Anyone, uh, any locals could ID this rockfish for me? It's a halibut, I bet. It's our keeper. There it is right there. Yep, 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 yeah. I got it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, water people. Thing tip, tip that way. Okay. Uh, one, two, water. Nice. Yes. I don't swing until I know I got it. <laughs> Jeremy, Jeremy, where you at? Where you at? Roger that cloud over here. Hey, stop work, stop lurking. Find your own ah. fish. <laughs> 30. Yeah. Let's get a good little pose. You want here? Go ahead. You can hold it. You're on a waterman's life. Gee. We'll take that still right there. Yeah. Yeah. 
no uh no uh bottom beer I think I'm on, can't tell. Fish on. Maybe. Coco. Please. Uh, another rock. No, another sculpey. Sculpey, huh? That's why. Yeah, no, something hit me good. It might have been a wing if there was structure right there. Yeah, or it could have been a sculpey that just structured. You see, they like the structure as well. Yep. I, I felt the scorpion fish, poisonous, uh, freaking spikes on these guys. You want to be careful when handling them. The sculpin fish. Anyone want an IPA? Yeah, we have one uh, 30 inch halibut in the bag, one brown rockfish in the bag, and then a bunch of bycatches that we've thrown back. Ah, da, 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 da. All right, water people, quick little rig setup explanation. This is my rig that I drift with for halibut. We have from the main line, you could either tie it or clip it on. We have our main line coming from the reel here. And here is the mono straight to the weight, right? One swivel, mono all the way down. And on that mono, I have a bead. See there, bead, swivel bead for my branch, for my hook leader. At the end of that, there is a swivel clip for my weight. So on that branch, I use Opsin fluorocarbon. 15 to 25 pounds is what I prefer. Good length, about three feet to my J hook. However, you could attach your J hook however you like. Just make sure you have enough line down to your stinger hook to on for the size of baits you might be using. I typically like to snail knot mine on, but lately I've been doing a polymer knot. And this allows the bait to be able to swim up and down that mono line, up and down the mono line, and then also around the mono line. So it's got a good range, about a six foot radius, 360 range and then also a three foot up, um, top to bottom range. Yummy. I love whitefish to be quite honest. It's, it's the fish stick of the ocean. Oh my gosh, my bait is freaking out. Come on. There it is. Rod? Yes. Nice. Nice, I'm not even gonna put mine in the water. No, 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 just keep the rod down. Don't pull it so much. Just scroll. I needed to set the hook still. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, my guy ain't losing. I need to set the hook still. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll eat your what? I was a good run, and it was chasing my bait for a good while. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Pop it out real quick, though, once you get on the deck, like I did with that other shorty. Not trying to get tangled. Nice short halibut. Can't complain on the Opsin fluorocarbon leader. 30 pound Opsin. And on my uh, pandemic slow pitch rod. Can't complain. Huh? Color? Color? Yeah, it's a turd. Turd, roller, 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 roller. Big onto beer. the boat. Use the sand bass. Nice green back. 
on, yeah? You're on. You're on. Good one. Good one. Good one. Good one. Fish on, chat. Fish on. Rod still up on top or what? Yeah. Better up top? Pandemic rods doing me some good work. Ops in floral carbon. Doing me some good. That good, good. You got color? Gaffer or that? Second one of the day, first one for me. Got yep. Got yeah. <laughs> this is how we do on Waterman's Light. We have to do Not nacho cheese, just nacho. Alright, how long can I hold these up? Just kidding. That's them water people right there. 35 on this side, 30 on this side, 15 on this side, 11 on this side. Bow, right there, water people. <sighs> 